Learn how to stress the value of the USD. Did you know that 100 United States dollars is worth over 1,000 South African Rand or 10,000 Kenyan shillings or 54,250 West African CFA? Are you worried about taking your kids? Get the game from Kellen Cash, a bona fide world traveler, having traveled to almost 20 countries, several of those in Africa. Get the game on taking your kids on their first trips. Learn how to find the best tickets, get the visas, and plan your own adventures in Africa. Don't let Eddie Murphy have all the fun. Plan your own coming to Africa trip starring you, produced by you, and featuring you. If you are ready for a life-changing experience, sign up for our course today, Diversified Game Academy. Get prepared. You know, there was a story coming out of Savannah, Georgia, with the Savannah Police Department. There was a brother that was arrested by the name of William Harvey. He was 60 years old. Well, the reason why we're talking about him is because he was found in the police interrogation room, not a jail cell, but a police interrogation room hanging. Yes, he was found hanging in a police interrogation room. And they say they really don't know what happened or how it happened in a police interrogation room. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. And that's why I'm here, because I want to know what happened to my child. I want to know. I need to know. Her grief still raw, Shirley Harvey Francis describes the agony of losing her only son. He saw that I ate. He saw that I took my medicine. He did everything for me. He was my lifeline to this world. Savannah police say William Harvey took his own life with a quote object in his possession while he was alone inside an interview room. Harvey's family says he was found hanged. It is something that is just uh, unheard of, quite frankly. They've hired attorney Mawuli Davis to find out how that's even possible. Because part of what we know about an interrogation room is that it is supposed to be a space where the there's an interrogation going on, so that means that there's an officer there. The GBI is investigating Harvey's death, and the case has caught the attention of some of Savannah's elected leaders. We will demand transparency. We will demand higher standards within this police department. And we will demand the answers that you need. So just imagine that scenario, right? Just imagine that. I mean, now we know good and well, the race soldiers had something to do with this one. Come on now. Just like we knew the race soldiers did that to Sandra Bland. I mean, we know, but they were saying that initial investigation surrounded this brother's death, you know, that was from the hanging. And then the second one stemmed from a group chat between the officers in which one of the race soldiers said, uh, they say an inappropriate meme mocking the man's death. It's because they did it. That's why they're mocking it. I mean, come on now. These white supremacist history is that they love to mock the death of black people. They love to keep trophies of black people. I remember when I went out there to St. Louis, when I had interviewed Melissa McKinnis with, you know, about her son, Donye Jones. And while this brother is still hanging from a tree, they're laughing and they're having a good time in the backyard. Like I said, these people don't change this in their nature. Now they say that on April the 3rd, they said Har uh, the brother Harvey, they say was at the police headquarters being questioned in connection of an aggravated assault investigation. Now they claim the race holder stepped out of the interrogation room and to come and find him unconscious. They said life saving measures was unsuccessful and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation determined that he died by suicide by hanging with his own shoelaces. How, how, how could he do that? Seriously, how, how could he do that? Y'all stepped out, left him by himself. He took off his shoelaces and he hung himself. He, how, how? It doesn't even make sense. None of this makes sense. But we know what these people own. This is a lie they told. Oh, he hung himself with, with a, a shoestring. Now, I say after his family demanded footage and, and, and answers about the man's death, as it was revealed that the officers neglected to turn on surveillance cameras to monitor Harvey while they were out of the room. Oh, how convenient. 
So let's get this straight. You don't turn on the cameras. I don't know why they should have the ability to turn on or off a camera anyway. And you lynch the brother, the family won't footage and say, oh, we just mysteriously forgot to turn on the cameras. Come on, y'all. Come on. Will y'all stop peeing on our leg and telling us it's rain? Seriously? So they were saying that all four race soldiers involved were placed on the administrative leave pending investigation. They said two race soldiers involved in Harvest Devil were terminated and one suspended Corporal Silver Luchner was fired for violating criminal investigation policy, employee responsibility, oath of office, ethics and conduct and video audio recording equipment while Sergeant Michael Kerr was fired after violating his supervisory responsibility. Also, Matthew White was suspended after he uh, was sustained on the violation of office ethics and conduct by the board. And they say in uh, late April, a second investigation was launched after a complaint was filed with the department about the inappropriate message sent in the group chat. Now say in the group chat called East Night Shift, one of the race soldiers sent a gift of a black man hanging himself and asked if it was too early to send the message to the officers who discovered Harvey. They say the mother of the officer who discovered uh, Harvey uh, filed a complaint with the police department as well. And they say, we don't know whether it was a joke or warning or a threat. They say, but whatever it was, we want everybody involved to be fired. That's from a Reverend Leonard Small. I say at the conclusion of the investigation to the message, three of the race soldiers were fired. Um, another one, Sergeant Christopher Hewitt, was terminated for violating supervisor responsibility. Corporal Erica uh, Tremblay was fired. I say for violations of supervisory uh, responsibility and subordination and Office of Professional Conduct. And Officer David Curtis was fired over conduct of becoming of an officer in subordination and for violations of treatment of others, truthfulness slash honesty and office of professional standards. Now this is the thing the family don't believe it was a suicide. Neither do I. Um, this is what I know the race soldiers plan to kill that brother. They said, we got one. We're going to go ahead and kill this Negro. Make sure the camera's off. We're going to go ahead and go lynch him. Um, and we're going to say that he did it with his shoestrings. And because the way the system works is that we can lie and everybody believe us for the most part, you know, now black folks won't believe us, but everybody else, white society in particular will believe us. And, and they just say it's a suicide and they just have to move on. Um, that was a lynching ladies and gentlemen, that was a lynching and this, you know, going on here in American society, let me tell you something, these people, like I said, they went from the Klan robe to the police badge. Everybody knows that. Okay. Everybody, and, you, and listen, all these people that was involved, Sergeant, this corporal, that normally, you know how they say, well, you know, the officer acting up with you call a Sergeant, those sergeants are just like them. Where do you think they get the training from the ones that's underneath them? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying so calling the Sergeant, you know, yes, you know, the how you don't know what, how that's going to go. You just don't know how it's going to go. I've seen so many stories of people on traffic stops say, hey, get, get the sergeant out here. And the sergeant comes over there acting worse than the cop that was there in the beginning. No, but his brothers were lynched. He was lynched. And, and, and I don't, I don't want to hear nothing else about it. That brother was lynched period. Cause there ain't no way you could tell me he did that on his own. All, all y'all involved. You're sending, you're sending memes about the brother being lynched. I mean, like I said, and then all they get is fire. And this is the thing, y'all, you talk about qualified immunity, but you also need to talk about if you're fired from a police department, you need your bad, your, your, your peace officer license need to be revoked. If you're fired, it needs to be revoked. They, because let me tell you something. All of them can be fired and they can go right over to the next city and get jobs. As long as they police, as long as they peace officer license is good. Y'all have never focused on that about getting the, the license revoked. All five of them need to be charged. All of them. They need to be charged. You know, why the, why was the camera off? You know, put them on a lie detector test and, and ask questions. Hey, were you involved with this? Ask questions. But no, they, they gonna get away and see this. This is why I saw a report um, just yesterday, and it was talking about the Weather Channel 
and it was saying about how the earth is heating up. And it said the earth is soaking in more heat and not emitting enough heat whatsoever, right? And I say, and you know how you see how this heat waves are coming? And and, and you you remember Jim Crow Joe and them saying, oh, climate change is like the greatest national security threat. It ain't no national security threat to black folk. The earth can heat up much as it want to heat up. We children of the sun. But the other ones is going to have a problem with the earth heating up. That's the ones going to have a problem. We've been surviving for thousands upon thousands of years. See, this is why this system can't keep going, ladies and gentlemen. This is why. This is why you see the, unra like Mr. Farrakhan talks about the unraveling of a great nation. This is why. Because it's the evil that they do. You understand? And, and, and some of you black people that don't want to get your act together in this country and don't, and don't understand, what are you going to do when they're not in charge of you no more? What are you going to do? Because some of you have hunkered yourself down that you all you want is them to do everything and you just sit back and don't do nothing. Let, let them do all of the, the heavy lifting or whatever. You could be on different systems or whatever. You don't want to control your own uh, jobs. You don't want to control your education. You don't want to control a whole lot of things. Well, that day is coming where they, they're not going to be able to help you. you. You understand what I'm saying? They're not going to be able to help you because their system is unraveling. See, I'm not silly. I just saw the other day in Botswana, they had a diamond they found. There was like over 1,000 carats on a diamond, one of the largest ones. You're not finding that here. South Africa, they had a village, found a bunch of diamonds. Everybody out there not trying to get them diamonds now. It's regular brothers and sisters that's just struggling, they out there trying to get some diamonds. You know what I'm saying? That's why I talk about Africa so much, because I already know what the future going to be. But unfortunately, in our community, we can't see past next week. That's our biggest problem, foresight. Oh, I'm only living for the day. I, I'm, I ain't worried about tomorrow. And then when tomorrow hits you, when you've seen it coming already, oh, I don't know what to do, man. Well, what feel? Well, how y'all do to Africa? How you go over there? How you get? No, no, that's when you want to start asking questions. You don't want to start setting yourself up now. But anyway, to each his own. But what I'm saying is they got to pay for this. And it's not just this, these five here in this, in this story. It's the whole system they got to pay for it. And it's coming every day. And if you can't see that, like I said, your eyes just isn't open. But leave me a comment on anything about the situation uh, with our brother here. Another lynching in 2021. Like I said, it was George Floyd. Now it was this one. You understand know what I'm saying? Um, this one, like I said, they was making sure the camera wasn't on. Welcome to Marion Ghana, where Kente Cloth is what we do, where African weddings and events are our specialty. Where African tradition, where is perfected. Where beautiful culture resides. Where marrying is honorable. MGKente.com Where competitors can compete in quality or prices. Shop now, mgkente.com. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store.